Welcome back to the Black Eyes Eight Wells. We are made our mission here at Thicker's Junction. It's because we're going to do a long day of well fitting. Nothing tells me that it's going to be a hot one today. Not too many shade or clouds today. There's barely any clouds. Just to give us some shade or cover up the sun a bit. But whatever. We are taking a look of NS20M that is very short today. I will explain the leader in a second. What we are taking a look at is NS1069, the Heritage Locomotive of the Virginia. It's leading on NS28M. It was quite short today, so that's the reason why we missed him at Holland, Ohio, which is mile post 297. Okay, so that's the mile post marker, and figures is at 285. So, we were about, eh, almost like, we were like 12 miles away, but still, we still missed him. This is a daily local job from Stanley to Walbridge. He usually has ROX, but I don't know. Sometimes you can see freight on this one, sometimes you don't. Y311 is the symbol for this yard job. After this one, we would drive around to Walbridge, Ohio to see an unknown manifest switching the yard. And this is a Jibo 3248 and an AC. 4400 372 is the trailing unit YN2 paint that still around around this town with some rock hoppers that are loaded this one's probably going to bound for Detroit but we went back to figures and he pulled up to figures but he went to back up so they're probably doing some switching as of now. But the train that we are getting at this crossing at is I-150 from North Baltimore to Detroit, Michigan. That has a YN2 AC44 CW. And that is leading I-150 today. So we decided to just get this one and then head over to Holland.
Well, now we're stationed here at Holland, Ohio, which is milepost 297, and Figures, which is Northwood, Ohio, was at milepost 285. So, so we basically drove a lot around Northwood, Ohio today, and now we're here at Holland, Ohio, and this westbound animal would fly up from Toledo to head to Chicago. If you see that MOW train, they're just sitting here and waiting for this westbound to clear because they're going to do some MOW work to throw some ballast and put them to the side. So that's what they're basically just sitting there and waiting to do. But we would have plenty more trains that would take that track that the westbound went on. So let's take a look at this MOW work that the Norfolk Southern crews are doing. So now, after they're getting done with their work, they would have eastbound coming through. So this is our first eastbound of the day here at Holland. And after they're doing their work, it would not interact them of the track Main 2. So now, they're going to have eastbound on Main 1. 
basically all eastbound or some of them are gonna take that main one for now because not only than that the main two is occupied because of mouse equipment so they're gonna be done working for for the next few hours we would only get like a few eastbound and westbound on main We sure do have another eastbound here, but you can see me on the left, trying to get the between these, these two sindels at milepost 297 and this eastbound. The eastbound would have an AC44C6M leading and a BNSF Giro 12 in second. The shot did not turn as bad as I thought it would be. It's Really sunny, but I was gonna go back to the crossing and get that, but oh well, whatever. This eastbound heading towards Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So, I don't know. This might be 28M or B, not sure. But he is a long one today. Here comes our first 
westbound of the in a while. It's been a while since we had a westbound. And no tripod just because I decided to do handheld. This will be our first westbound since the eastbound went by. However, there's some random clips that I took of this westbound. After this one clear, it will be a little bit. But we would get another one after that. What in the world is Matthew doing? I got that a bit on Matt. If you are just watching this, if you're wondering. There he goes again. It's like hot, so we're trying to get some nice cold water. You know, we had some, but they're almost drinking it all. So, yeah. Thanks, guys, for doing that. So, now we're looking at this quest now. And now, I'll transform back. We're getting, getting another westbound. This one is an intermodal. Bound for Chicago with an ACC leader. I don't know where this one just came from, but I think he came from the south and going towards Burn Tubber, Indiana. D6M leading, tier 4, and another D6M. Two D6Ms and a one tier 4 g which is a CT44AH. So, this one's loaded, bound for Burn Tubber, Indiana. It would be some time after that intermodal went by, and now this one's going by. But, after getting this train, and I would get the drone up after getting this westbound. Alright, so, let's just get the west of this westbound. Our mile train was coming back after working some hours. So finally going into the siding. Not that far from us. What they are going to do is. Sometime this week though. They're going to go back to work. To go back out west. There's the ground footage of the mile train. And the drone footage as well. As it was a few seconds ago. But I was. Showing the ground footage. 
There it is with the drone footage. So now we're gonna get some action on the Chicago line once again. But it was still pretty hot and there's no shade around here, so it was pretty like miserable with the hot heat and stuff. And then here comes our next train, which is an ethanol train bound for North Carolina the state. Probably Salama. Somewhere around there. But the foreign visitor that is leading today is Canadian National. Two SD seventy M dash twos. That is leading today's Athenol. Shortly after getting that ethanol train, we would as soon get another eastbound on the Chicago line, main one. For some reason, two eastbounds had to go through on main one for some reason. I don't know if because of that mal equipment train or whatever, but I don't know. I didn't I don't know if that's the case for that one. But this one's in it a model. One GE, GEVO, and AC44C6M GE is trailing on the Zeta model. Now, I thought we would be able to leave, but as soon as this one gets clearing through here, we would pack it up to the car, and luck was not on our side, we were not able to leave right away.
we were able to get this last train here at Holland before we were taking my friend Matt back home and to his house. So, at this case, this is basically a manifest bound for Elkhart, Indiana. Probably 13N, but I ended up just getting it with the phone. Because that's what I ended up just having on me. This train crew ended up giving me a horn show, even though this is a no horn show. And see all that dust? It's because of that Mao equipment train was working here earlier. So, this is actually our last train here at Holland, Ohio. And for our day here, we went just south of Trenton, Michigan to drop my friend off. And we ended up just getting some EQ Dairy Queen to get some ice cream and stuff. Shortly after getting ice cream, the gates on the Flatlock subdivision ended up going down. And we were lucky to get this M385 from Toronto to Flat Rock, Michigan. This is a daily move from Toronto. So, basically, this is basically a daily one. Sometimes they get pretty good power on 385. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I will say this, this is basically the last train of this video, and the day actually. I hope you guys really enjoyed me bouncing around around Toledo area on Labor Day weekend. And I'm sure that the end was coming up so I had to go back to the car and get ready to go back inside. However, this video is basically ending off here on the Flat Rock subdivision. Thank you for watching, and I will see y'all in the Michigan State, or 
the Buckeye State Wells.